Hello everyone, this is JG1 Barton, and today I want to show you guys a flight that I had earlier today on Wings of Liberty because I wanted to use it as an example of exactly how to use the Falk Wolf 190 effectively in a furball situation over enemy lines or your own lines. Anytime that there is a furball, it's all in your favor as a Falk Wolf 190 if you put yourself in the positions just right. I'm flying in towards an enemy defense position looking for enemy fighters because I haven't seen a whole lot of action yet and I just kinda wanna rattle the cage a little bit. Maybe stir up the hornet's nest. But as I climb, climbing at about 400 kilometers an hour or more I'm in what I consider a combat climb I've got a bandit off my left side another one just popped out of the clouds so we've got two guys with more energy than I do and they're both bandits so I'm going to turn away from this because putting myself in that position isn't a very smart idea as I come around I'm going to keep myself out of range from them one has given me the altitude advantage, the other one has not. A third one has just do dropped in, but he's diving pretty hard. So he's not in a... he's no threat to us. This other one is coming around on us, but I don't... I'm not sure if he sees us. So we're going to turn into him because we've got way more energy than he does, and he turns through us, so he's not chasing us if he even knows that we're there. We're going to go ahead and come back around on this. We do know that we have we have a very good idea that we have the altitude advantage over everyone in this fight. So we're going to go ahead and come back and we're just going to try and take the easiest shot we can get. I did see someone on my 6 back there but they're not uh, an, a threat at this point because they're too far away. And our airspeed is pretty high so they won't be closing on us very fast. I do have someone at my 1 o'clock. We're going to roll around and see if we can attack him. He looks like he might be an easy shot. He is turning down and away from us. Oh, hey, who's this guy? There's a climber. Here we go. We'll line up our shot, take it. No maneuvering from him. We were actually on the outside of his turn, so we had no idea that we were there. And we get good hits into his wing. Very good damage there, and it comes off. So that's one kill immediately in this fight just by going after a guy who wasn't looking that was probably the hardest shot I had to make all day coming down looking for a bandit and he's turning too hard but this person isn't I'm going to go ahead and keep... Ooh, we got two guys. Someone else just crossed over our 12. We got plenty of energy, plenty of closing speed. I don't know what these guys are doing. They must be going after somebody. Yep, there he is. All right, go for the guy on the far side, because... Nope, never mind. We'll go for the near guy. He's the easiest and closest kill. Nice shots there. One down. Tally two now. We got someone at our six low, We're, but we've got way more energy than them. We're just going to go ahead and lightly put our nose down and extend. They can't get their nose up on us. We're out of range anyway. Looks like we have some friendlies coming down into them, so we'll just go ahead and drag him for them. They notice, or he notices that he's under attack, breaks away from us. We're clear. Looking around for other enemies at the moment. I should probably check my right side at this point, but I think I've got most of the attention is over here. I do have someone distant over there, but I want to now. I do want to check my right side to make sure that there isn't anybody coming in. I do have two more contacts at my nine o'clock dropping into this. We'll see who they are. They're my biggest interest at the moment because they're the biggest threat to me, and they have an energy advantage over everybody, so they're the biggest threat to anybody in this fight. As I come around, I'm going to see that it looks like a bandit trying to come up from underneath a friendly and chase him in a climb. So guess what we're going to do? So we come around. Nope, he's crossing back around us. Alright, we're 
we spoiled our shot there. They went around too tight. We're up and away, but we're looking over our six. Four enemies coming into us, and also to turn back towards the fight and set ourselves up for another attack on somebody. Looks like I've got someone out here at my 12. I've got another fight. Which I don't know what's going on here. Looks like a friendly under attack from a bandit. Go ahead and split us into this. Looks like our friendly is climbing. Oh wait, no, that looks like a bandit. Oh, we're going to go ahead and try and push this. But they're both turning way too hard. We're going to have to break off of this. We can't, we can't follow them. We'll burn way too much energy. So we're just going to go ahead and eject ourselves out of that fight by climbing. I'm going to keep our eye on the guys below us, though, to make sure uh, we're not under attack and that there isn't anyone giving us a lazy shot. Going back to the left here, I got two guys against the forest. Another fight out to my right side, but that's that doesn't matter at the moment. 109 underneath me. Looks like another 109 going by. Where's the bandit? I don't know, he's got to be off my right side somewhere, maybe. No. Check back with our 109. He's not under attack. Wait, yeah, he is. There's a bandit that just dropped into a six, and he's going into a climb. So here we go. Drop in into six with a lag pursuit. Get the low angle. Good closing speed, good distance, and pilot snipe. And we're going to continue out and extend, checking our six. Looks like our friendly's diving into him. He's not under attack by anybody else, though, so... He should be alright. Looking around. Is there anybody else? We have a fight that looks like off my left side. Definitely a couple of contacts down there. I'm going to go ahead and close with that fight and see what's going on. Making sure that we check our six. Looks like a bandit climbing, maybe two. Oh, two contacts at my right side. These are probably friendlies. They're they're big guys with an escort. And that's a 190. Let's go ahead and cover these guys. See if uh, we can just kind of skim across the top of this fight and see if there are any more easy kills. Make sure that there's no one us, no one else up at our altitude. But you now it looks like we got a 110 attacking a yak or a bandit of some sort. Let's go ahead and dive in and see what we can do here. He's climbing very hard. We're gonna go ahead and go for the head-on, but he's gonna turn away from us. I'm not sure if that was entirely on purpose, but it was a good move regardless. He is still under attack. We're going to roll around and try and come in on his six. Should have a pretty good shot here. If I didn't jerk the stick and mess my shot up. Missed that shot completely. I'm going to try and push him. But he's got enough speed and he's turning hard enough that I can't stay with him. I'm going to go ahead and break off here and extend a little bit before coming back. He is after other people, so he just hit the 110, and he's put his nose back down again. This guy kind of knows what he's doing. I just take a pot shot at him and, you know, pray. I missed. I'm just going to extend out because now we're on the deck, and that's not where I want to be. Whatever's going on down there is going on down there. I'm not going to do myself any favors by putting myself in it. 109 is coming up at us. 
Just because he's a friendly doesn't mean he isn't going to shoot, but he does break off of us. Two, four, five contacts over here. Six, seven, eight. You have any bandits? You just saw someone going to the trees. There's a bandit. Is it going to continue to turn? We'll go ahead and take lead on this on the inside. He just ducks it. We're gonna go ahead and extend. And he's gonna think about chasing us and then break away. We're just gonna keep extending, looking for another fight. He knows we're there. We're not gonna come back around and mess with him. He's got plenty of energy. Remember, we're just after the easy shots here. Someone climbing hard. Someone coming around our one o'clock. Is that a bandit? Looks like a friendly. Might be a bandit. Who's, oh, got someone on the treetops. Here we go. That's a bandit. And anyone who's going to come into the fight on the treetops is either... They better be good, or they're brand new. Because this is the worst tactical position you could put yourself in. I'm just going to put myself at his 9 o'clock, break into him, roll in on the overshoot to put myself on the other side of his 6, and chase him down. Now he's climbing, so I know he's transfixed on this fight ahead of him, and I'm just going to go ahead and take a shot here. Nice, easy shot from dead 6. Get hits, follow him down, get a couple more, finish the job, and he's in. There's four. That looks like a friendly. We're going to keep ourselves down low for now and high speed. And make sure we check our six often. Get ourselves out of the area before starting into a combat climb, which is essentially a high speed climb somewhere around the 400 kilometer an hour or better range because we want the airspeed to maneuver that's very important in a combat area is that you are constantly able to defend yourself if you need to a maximum rate climb will put you in a very bad position because it allows someone like me to close at an incredible rate on a target that isn't moving very much. So then, and it allows me to get, it allows me the most time to set up my attack and it ensures that my attack takes the least amount of time. And so you have less time to see the attack coming and you have less energy with which to maneuver against it to spoil my attack. So it just puts you in a really bad situation if you're in a combat area to do a max power or, you know, uh, max rate climb so I'm just running around at high speed right now putting myself in a shallow climb I see a fight off my one o'clock coming up on angels 2 I'm still doing 400 kilometers an hour like I was saying we are above this fight so we're just gonna go ahead and close on it keep our eyes peeled for anyone above the fight because if a bandit comes in that's the worst place they could be for us it looks like I've got someone climbing after this 109 we're gonna go ahead and put our put the hammer down and yeah, this 109 is just climbing, and we've got a yak that's just trying to chase him and eat him up in the prop hang. We gotta get here. We gotta get here now. I'm not sure. Oh, we got him. We've definitely got him. He's basically standing still. This is gonna be like taking candy from a baby. Yep, there it is. That was the easiest shot you'll ever get on an aircraft that is flying. Okay. Or at least in the air. So you're, I guess you really wouldn't be able to say that he was flying. He was definitely falling without style when I got to him. 